Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, I'll show you guys what we did and what we went through during our road trip from Sydney to Nelson Bay. Our first stop that morning was a small coffee and croffle shop, which is around 30 minutes from our place. I was just checking on Google Maps where we can have a small breakfast, but I wanted to try something new, something we don't normally have, and then I found this place. In general, I think all the drinks and croffles there are quite good. The croffles have a nice texture, very buttery and not too sweet. Our next stop was just 20 minutes away from the croffle shop. We were still full, but wanted to try this place out as it seemed to be popular. The place is called Hawkesbury River Oyster Shed. From the name, you can guess they are popular for the fresh oysters, but I think the seafood here is quite good as well. They also have a really nice view here. Guys, just look at this. Since we just had breakfast, we only ordered half a dozen of oysters with wasabi, sushi seasoning, and pickle ginger. I honestly can't find the name of the order dish we got, but it was kind of a seafood soup, cooked with cheese, and we had with bread and butter. If you know the name of it, please let me know in the comments. The scenery along the way was an absolute feast for the eyes. I was so captivated by the beautiful nature that I even noticed the hours passing by in the car. We decided to stop by this restaurant for lunch. I think it's a special restaurant as they have their own farm growing all the vegetables used in their dishes. When I stepped in, I felt so happy that we came here. They have such a nice open space. It's cute, romantic and calm. I was thinking even if the food was not that good, I honestly wouldn't mind. Me and my partner ordered a bladder of pool beef brisket to share. My brother and niece each got a hamburger and chips. Our plan was to have an outdoor barbecue in Nelson Bay, so before going to the hotel, we went to Bunnings to buy a small portable barbecue. We also wanted to try going fishing there, so we went to BCF to buy one more fishing rod to have two in total to share. We didn't think it was necessary to buy one each since we are not professional and there are three of us that have never used one before. And finally, we arrived at the hotel. The room is cute with a nice view so I was happy with it. The sofa bed in the living room was not too comfortable but since we only stayed there for one night, it was still okay. Since it was already 4pm, we didn't stay for long at the hotel. After preparing the fishing tools, we headed out to the beach. Honestly, when I got there, the scenery was so beautiful that I thought even if we couldn't catch any fish that day, I would still be content. How can you not fall in love with this view? At this point, I have to say we didn't get to catch any fish that day, but we didn't feel too bad because it was not only us, but it was the same for everyone around. So I guess it was just not a good day for fishing. 
and because we didn't get any fish, we ended up ordering Domino pizzas and got instant noodles from Woolies for dinner. That's it for the first day. After waking up, we quickly packed out to check out because we were planning to have a barbecue for breakfast at the park. Then we went straight for a hike so we wouldn't have time to return to the hotel later on. had our breakfast it was just perfect for the barbecue we had beef steaks marinated chicken skewers and garlic bread One of the reasons I wanted to go to Nelson Bay was to take the Tomori Head Summit walk as there is a 360 degree lookout that is very popular with many good reviews. But unfortunately, it was only the night before that we figured out the track had been closed for a break so we were not able to do it. I was very disappointed. So our plan changed and we went to Fingo Beach instead because my partner wanted to see Sphingo Island. We also did a short walk which I think was around 6 kilometers or a bit more in total. Some parts of it were hard for me, my brother and my niece, where it was uphill and we had to walk through many big and small rocks. We also took time to enjoy the scenery on the way and take photos, so it took us more than two hours to finish. I can't believe we just came from down there. <sighs> That's my brother helping my niece to walk down because she was afraid that she would fall. My niece was struggling walking through the rocks because in Vietnam she rarely had a chance to do these things. Yep, yeah, look how quick the boy behind her just came and walked past her. We finally finished the walk and reached the car park.
After that, we were so thirsty and hungry. It was also lunchtime, so we went to a popular fish and chips place in Nelson Bay before going back to Sydney. So we ordered barramundi fish and chips, squid rings, and a fish hamburger. After eating, we left Nelson Bay and drove back to Sydney, ending our road trip here. We would definitely go back one day for the summit walk. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe.